Good evening everyone, and welcome to the History of Zombie Survival, as you've probably already read in the title. In this video, I'll be going over this classic game mode, which has spanned all the way back to CS 1.6 in a game mode called Zombie Plague. The first known recording of the game mode is from 2008 when it first ran on CS 1.6, the original Counter-Strike. I also forgot to mention Counter-Strike Condition Zero, besides 1.6. Even though Counter-Strike Condition Zero was released shortly after 1.6, it became far less popular than 1.6 in Source. Besides the main game, Condition Zero is one of the first Counter-Strike experiences I was able to actually have when I was younger. I assume Zombie Plague was first used on Condition Zero because of the bot support. For example, it'd be a lot easier to open up Condition Zero with a round of modded bots than to do the same thing in 1.6, or that is what I'm assuming. This is when I first played the zombie game mode a long time ago. To put this into perspective, that's about 13 years from 2008 to 2021 of the zombie title still being relevant in Source games. Most servers on CS 1.6 stopped using the aspects of the original game mode as more custom content was released, therefore leaving only a few remnants left from what it used to be. The last server known to my knowledge that ran the original game mode was shut down in 2014, though some remakes are still running today, if you search hard enough in the community browser. To sum the game mode up, it's a modification of Counter-Strike, developed as an AMX Mod X plugin, which means it completely revamps the gameplay, turning it into an intense human vs zombies that we all know today. By adding multiple gameplay mods, zombie class systems, human class systems, ammo packs, extra items, custom grenades, deathmatch, and admin menus. Before Zombie Plague 5.0, this type of uh, system didn't really exist, as well as some special effects from Half-Life such as dynamic lighting and fog. This was a big deal because this was back then. The maps for the game usually varied with custom content from the community, with it mostly being roughly made houses on desert or arctic landscapes. Otherwise, in very old servers, maps like DE Dust and similar bomb diffusal maps would be used. In every round, Players start out as humans, equip themselves with a few weapons and grenades, and then go to the safest spot for cover they can find, as one of the players will be infected with the T-Virus, making them within a short span of time a zombie. The first zombie has to infect as many humans as possible to cluster a numerous zombie horde down to the last man. Usually, the maps in this game mode are automatically set in the dark, and humans must use flashlights to light their way and spot any enemies. Zombies have night vision, but can only attack via melee. There are multiple gameplay modes including Normal Infection, where one player is infected and has to infect the others. Swarm, where the players are divided into humans and zombies, but the humans are immune. Because of this, instead of infecting, the zombies are tasked to kill the humans instead. In Multiple Infection, more than one random player is infected. In another, called Nemesis, the first zombie player may be created into a powerful class called Nemesis probably based off the Resident Evil antagonist, Nemesis. The last game mode is called Survivor. Everyone else is a zombie, and the last man has to fend for himself with a machine gun and unlimited ammo until he eventually slips up or time runs out and he wins. If you want to see where I got most of this information from, half of it is from the original Zombie Plague mod 5.0 forum post by Merciless, created in 2008. The 5.0 post from 2008 is the only real post he has ever made on the website and his last activity was from 2016. His last reply on the website is from 2014, where presumably he then lurked for two years and finally decided he was done with the modding community. But that obviously can't be the end of the story, because since then there's been a whole lot of change to his mod. The next most recent addition to Zombie Plague 5.0 in 2008 came out in 2014, six years later. This new game mode would be called Zombie Survival Mode. Simple, but straight to the point and originally created by David Jr. This game mode is the same in practice as Zombie Plague, but has added in some more commands and options, as well as stuff like turrets, more survivor abilities, zombie abilities, models, weapons, and overall improvement to the game mode mechanics. You can find this upload on Game Banana. It seems he was also last seen 7 years ago, disappearing like Merciless. With these two to find, Standing out from the rest, there's few that can fit the criteria and who can follow just as well. But there is something. Something that is familiar to how Zombie Survival is mod itself. And this something is the memorable Gary's mod. I mean, how could you forget to include it really? 
With Gary's Mod Edition for game modes, ever since stuff like Dark RP and Sandbox, Zombie Survival on the weekends will often have servers filled. This screenshot is taken on Thursday, with a total of 280 players currently active. Without losing touch with the original game modes Counter-Strike kickstarted, the concept is relatively the same. In this version of Zombie Survival, players can use hammers to board up windows, vents, and doorways that zombies can get through or destroy. As a reward for surviving and killing, you usually are given a sum of money which can be spent on ammo, another gun, or more barricading supplies. This will go on until all survivors are defeated or time runs out and the survivors win. In this version, similar to that of the Nemesis game mode, a boss can be played in a following round of zombie survival, which will have quite remarkable strength, usually enough to change the tide of the survivors winning, to their eventual loss if played correctly. Similar to Counter-Strike, instead of classes, you are assigned traits from the points you get. I'll put some on the screen now so you can look at them. These points vary much more than the usual couple of classes you get from the older versions of this game. UI is generally improved because of the flexibility, being implemented in a game that is mostly source mods. The maps in Gary's Mod version of Zombie Survival are usually listed under the ZS tag on the workshop, and the two most popular is this Krusty Krab map you see here, and another map titled Abandoned Mall. If you've played the game mode, you've probably heard of both of these. Because that's it, there's nothing much to say. But it is fun, and hard to get old. Surviving on a full server of friends is usually always a blast, though the next thing I'm gonna bring up is what I consider to be a little bit lackluster and doesn't exactly hold a torch to the originals, but this would be CSGO Zombie Survival, released in 2015 by CTX and Jero. I rag on this game mode, and maybe a little too much, but CSGO Zombie Survival is more like a last stand of bots who have knives. It's not really intimidating and can get old fast. The best I'd say it's used for is aim practice, but even then you can accomplish something like that with a map like uh, aimbots for example. This isn't to say it's horrible and has no community effort, but I think I'd much rather explore an old zombie server on 1.6 or Source with people I can relate to and play with, while still keeping that nostalgic feeling. By no means am I saying it's a terrible mod, it's great, and it's quite enjoyed by a lot of people. Though, I think I'm giving most of this attitude towards CSGO itself. Now, CSGO is a game to me that doesn't exactly work with a game mode like Zombie Survival. If you take a look at Source on 1.6, everything just kind of fits. It works well together. CSGO is more based around realistic, competitive play. And it's hard to match something like that with something like a zombie game mode. I'm sure you guys probably get what I mean. Anyways, thanks for watching my video on this game mode. Uh, I don't know if this is a bit short for some people, but if it is, let me know. I was happy I could do a double upload this month as I'm extremely busy, and I'm happy to see you guys enjoyed the last video, even if I didn't get some stuff 100% right. And if you'd like for me to explore anything else, let me know in the comments below so I can read about it. As always, like if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, and have a safe day everyone.